Now I've, uh, I've just come in from a walk in the woods and uh, I made a video and I'm going to show it but just thought I'd tell you that um, uh, the woods that I'm in are, I don't know where I mentioned it in the uh, movie but they are literally five minutes from my back door probably less if you if you're a fit person you could be there in I should imagine three minutes if you if you tabbed it and that's not an exaggeration <laughs> but uh, it is out of the way but it's very busy during the summer holidays there's kids everywhere over there but on a day like today nobody wants to go in there it's wet, it's horrible, and it's miserable. But because the ground was frosty, it was quite hard. So it wasn't as sloppy or slippery as it could have been. And I wouldn't go over there then. But today was just right, and I hit it just when it it, uh, it wanted to. Um, I've been back about an hour and a half. Settled down now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I hope you like this little... Uh, video it's the first one I've ever done in the woods on my own um, with a decent camera so I hope you enjoy it well this is a first excuse the out, out of breath but it really is a first for me uh, I've come to some local woodland uh, you can probably hear by the voices in the background it's not that far away from where I live. In actual fact, if I had the breath, I could probably spit at my back door from here. But it's secluded enough to uh, do a little filming, test my new camera, um, and show you a bit of kit that I've got that I've carried over here, and it's not a lot. Okay, but as I say, I wouldn't normally do this, and I don't know why I'm doing it now. <laughs> I really don't, <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a go, you know, as things are, and um, uh, my breathing ain't too bad at the moment, um, I've got my asthma pumps on me and all the kit I'm supposed to have, took me tablets, <laughs> and I'm here, and uh, oh. I was, uh, sent a message by uh, Foxy51 and um, uh, it was very nice, I'm not going to go into it, it's there if you want to read it on the, on my thank you to YouTube, but it's um, uh, got me thinking, you know, what can you do when you're like me, and God forbid you ain't, there isn't anything you can do, you think, until you do it. I'm going to pay for this, and I know I am, and I'll make no bones about it, I'm just going to show you around the kit while I can stand up and talk to you. Now I'm going to take my kit, this camera off this tree where I put it, and I'm going to give you a quick whip round the woods, and then I'm going to go through, put a tarp down, go through some of the kit that I've got in here, and uh, I'm going to have a brew, and uh, then I'm going to walk all the five minutes to my back door. But, what a five minutes. <laughs> I'll, um, anyway, I'll be back in a minute. This is the woods. <laughs> anyway, looking around, you can see there's no one here. Now, during the six weeks holidays, this, this place is overrun by kids, you know, messing about, pulling things to bits. The trees are gnarly, to say the least. I don't know what they were. I think because there used to be houses here and this may have been someone's back garden at one time uh, part of the uh, Langdon Hills scheme to um, uh, put little houses and country cottages everywhere and uh, some of them were in here but this is a pretty unkempt wood woodland it's private it would make a great overnighter tell you because there's no light in here whatsoever 
from anywhere. Yet there are street lamps no further than 200 yards that way and 200 yards that way. There, there are houses less than 75 yards that way and you can't see them. And it's a really nice little place. I thought of it the other day. I haven't been over here in years. There's no reason why I should. Because the ground ain't too good for dogs and that. There's all kinds of rubbish and things around here. So I don't want my dog over here. Um, uh, so, anyway, I've come over. Might as well get started. But, um, British Army um, rocket pouch pack. And I've got all that I wanted to put in now on the camera stuff, new camera stuff, <laughs> and um, uh, all uh, my paracord that I'll need, and uh, my little tarp to go on the ground, and uh, my cooker, and uh, brew kit. Basically, make a cup of coffee, and that'll be it. Uh, so, without further ado, I will uh, get my kit out, set it up, and come back. Now, the light stove. I'm not going to mess about with anything, I'm just going to. Now this is a mess tin that um, uh, I uh, put a little bit more water in there I think that I bought from Spain. Uh, it cost me three euros. They're all stainless steel, food grade as well. with an off whack. This has got a lid which I am going to put on. Just put it on right now. And um, uh, let that hopefully boil away in a minute. Uh, now just gonna go through some bits of kit that I've got and uh, This is what I carry. This is the dragon belly, which everyone's seen, but around it. the one that I carry around my neck on my little EDC string. don't like it. Um, yeah, there it is. Close the lid on it. Don't want it to get thing. And it goes back in my pocket. Because I'm on an housing state in Essex, there is no way that I'm going to carry that around my neck. But as you can see, 
I swear to you, this is in the middle of a housing estate in Essex. And that uh, is a full 180 degree turn. And you can see, it is quite nice. And I'm all on my own out here. And it is really, really satisfying to come out here. Really satisfying. I've had, this is the first time I've been out on my own, anywhere, in years and years and years, for different reasons, and if my wife knew I was out here, she'd kill me, <laughs> but I don't care at the moment, because I'm alright, <sighs> but there you see, so I'm going to get a few other bits of kit out, and go through them. And this is the mug that I bought in Spain as well. And as you can see on the bottom of it, it says two euros. <laughs> and it's got a lid with it. Oh, amazing. Madness. The amount of money we have to pay in this country for simple bits of kit. And you go abroad and you see these Chinese shops that are out there and basically a Chinese shop is a Chinese shop obviously now yeah, let that cool down and I'll bring you up over the top of this as you can see there is a proper rolling boil going on in there I'll put that down because I don't want to frizzle up anything and uh, I'm gonna take that and uh, pour that in there. Oh, As I say, excuse the shaking. It's nothing I can help, so I don't bother about it anymore. Apart from it clanking on the thing. That was a good guess, wasn't it? Well, I'll turn that out. Put them over there to cool. You stir me cup. It's a large pouch to make a large cup. I bought them because they were large pouches. Um, I'll show you them in a minute. That is honestly a nice cup of coffee in there. Now you Nescaf and uh, the cappuccino. I'm there for a big cup, as you can see on the side, not a little one. And um, uh, wow, I'm gonna enjoy that in a minute, I tell you, I really am. There you are. My wife got them in, um, I think, uh, Iceland, I believe. I'm not sure, don't quote me on it. Yeah, and um, these mess tins, wow, are they, are they a nice bit of kit? You've got, um, you've got the bottom, which I've just used, a little fire plate, secondary cooking system, whatever you want to use it for, lid, Two catches on the side to hold it all together. Folding handle. Bob's your uncle, Charlie's your aunt. Look at that. Unbelievable. Three euros. <laughs> anyway. Getting on to something. Is, uh, knives. Now, I'm going to show you my knife. This is my knife. I carry this 
everywhere I've got a fire steel on it. Ugly boy, one of my ugly boy fire steels. Ugly boy for obvious reasons. It's not very pretty to look at, but it's functional. And I have a knife. Now this knife, I made for me, no one else. Because I like the handle. This knife is about, I don't know, two and a half, yeah, about two and a half years old, I think. Because obviously all my kit I'd sent away and I thought, well, safe going out and buying a knife. If I'm going to do this and do it properly, I will make a knife. And this is a prop up our ZP special. It's made from a file. It's got decorative jimping on the back there, as you can see. And this camera picks it up really, really well. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. And uh, when I show my knives normally, it's just a blur along the back here. But as you can see, it's a nice bit of jimping. It doesn't go all the way to the handle because I wanted to do this. Uh, it's got um, stainless steel pins, which I'm not a fan of. But as you can see, they're there, and uh, this is, I believe, uh, Sapili, the wood, and I have a copper lanyard tube, because it's a ZP special, obviously it's what I could find at the time, to stick on them, but this is mine, it is razor sharp, and I mean razor sharp, uh, I've battened with it, I've I've done everything with this knife. Everything. Everything you think of, I've done with it. And also I lent it to someone to do everything with it for one of his adventure holidays. And he gave it a good kick in and all. And uh, I come back and I must admit I did have to like um, clean it up a little bit. But as you can see, it's not it's not a, got a high finish on it or anything like that. It's uh convex grind and it is a lovely knife I just like I just love it I think it's beautiful because um it's got sentimental value to me because it has been to both the prepper meets with me um, and uh, it was the first knife that I had a sheath made for by Ray Caruana and that's how I met him if it wasn't for this knife I wouldn't have met Ray um, I wouldn't have um, renewed old acquaintances with the guys at the forge and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now so yeah a bit of a story but that's that's the knife and it's my knife and there's no other like it because it's mine <laughs> <laughs> little tribute to Matt Tightwad there uh, but um uh, yeah so this is it Now I'm going to drink my coffee, uh, as I say I like this little screen, it's a bit dark, there's not a lot of light coming through in here now, um, uh, unfortunately, that's not a good thing, it's got a light on it, <laughs> and I have, oh well, that's better because I was running out of light there, as you can see, it's, it's, um, it's getting quite dark in here, the old sun's coming down, down it's, uh, it's coming up to about uh, I suppose, uh, three, three, three o'clock? Yeah, believe it or not, and the sun's getting quite low. But, uh, yeah. So I don't want to spend too much time in here because I've got a really feeling I'm going to lose a lot of light. But, as you can see, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Uh, and, uh, that's a quick... Ah, the other thing. This. My fire kit. And in there is some wax pads some military matches, uh, another ferrocene rod, striker for the ferrocene rod, char cloth, also use that as a flint striker, and um, some tinder, Boy. wood wool or whatever they call that stuff. everything that I'll need there to start a little fire if I have to because I use one of these and I start a little fire on top of it and it starts to burn and um, uh, yeah it starts to burn and I'm well away then 
start a little fire on top of one of these put it into your hobo stove and away you go no problem uh, basically that's my kit and uh, it's a finding disc or cutting disc actually tin which does the job perfectly I've got to clean it up and rub it down but to be quite honest I think I'll just stick some tape on it but um uh, not a moment but uh, you never know <laughs> probably in, <laughs> in that airbrush with a scum on it knowing me but yeah um uh, anyway that's the thing and this is my little chat in the woods which is fantastic these trees, I don't know what they are they're not very big but um, some of the larger ones in here would hold a hammock definitely, as you see that one over there ain't too small and the one behind it and the one off to the right and the one off to the left would definitely hold a hammock um, and there's two over there that are absolutely, I think as you can see and they're, they're both live, they're not dead uh, would make really really a nice spot for a hammock I think so anyway I've had a really really good chat and uh, show you a bit of kit and I uh, hope you like this it's, um, uh, it's been relaxing but it's starting to tell, take its toll but never mind Anyway, just like I show you the little tarp that I over with me, and uh, it goes in this little string bag. That's how I bought it. And it's quite well, good. You see, it even comes with a little pull bag. This bag all comes with it, it's all uh, folded up small like that. It's only uh, about a metre square, but it's re turned out to be a, a really handy piece of kit. I used it on the prepper meat, it was, it was brilliant. Uh, another little thing when you notice things you know and uh, I just uh, I just noticed this this is my water bottle I've just noticed my cup it fits into my water bottle onto the bottom of my water bottle perfectly so um, uh, that's where it will be uh, staying now when I come out with this pack just put that in there for now uh, and I'll uh, show you that. And I'll uh, go through a couple of other bits of kit that I'm wearing as well. I'm wearing, I'm going to show you, um, snow boots. Only cheap ones, but they are really, really good. And uh, they're just like a, I don't know, a Wellington boot, half Wellington boot with um, Cordura tops. They were, but you know, they weren't a lot of money. They were really, really cheap. But and uh, I was advised not to buy them. But I've got no qualms with them. I think they're really, really good. And um, uh, I have a pair of Browning uh, natural camouflage trousers on. And my coat is my luxury. This is. Um, this is an outdoor world Canadian walking coat and um, make no bones about it lads it cost a fortune I didn't pay that for it but it did cost a fortune um, give you some idea of what it's like inside it's got a I can't keep my hands on too long because I am allergic to it but uh, I've got plenty of layers between me and it um, got a snuggy top which is uh, also the same sort of uh, natural camouflage uh, got loads of layers on um, but my army train lots to, lots to take off if necessary and lots to put on
if necessary. Just a try out for the camera as, more, as much as a try out for me, you know. I don't think I'll be going much further, but I may come over here again, as you can see why. Sun's quite low over there now. You're going down shortly, but at the end of the day, I did it. Um, don't tell the wife. <laughs> but um, yeah. Whew. Now I've got to go home. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm going to. Uh, Pick up my tarp and uh, I'll be off. Now the walk out, lads. Um, I'll show you just how far I came from the footpath that uh, comes in here. And uh, I have to put this in my left hand because it's my right leg. They say this has got a movement damper on it. I hope it has, because otherwise this is going to be a very shaky movie by the time I get home. But uh, yeah, out there through there is fields. You might just be able to pick them up at the end. At the end of this, these fields. Um, there's a few footpaths. You can see this is a place where people cut through to get to different places. It is a massive shortcut from uh, for certain places, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, some broken old trees. But that is the, these are the footpaths, and where I came in is up through there. And I'm not going to show you what's in front because um, uh, I don't want people to know where it is. To be quite honest because um, it's mine, go away <laughs> no, seriously, but I don't um, uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a really good walk um, I'm trying to actually uh, do more of this um, for me that was a major effort for other people it wouldn't be um, and before I start waffling because um, exertion makes me do that. Um, sad old bugger. But um, uh, yeah, this is me, my my little um, thing. Oh yeah, and I'd like to say something to um, Sandy, the Wilshire man. That walk, mate. <laughs> I've only just watched it. That that was epic. That was some walk. <laughs> That was. That was really good, man. Um, and thanks for sharing it. But this is my walk. <laughs> and to me, I think it's just, just as epic. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you... Uh, uh, well, hope you enjoy this little video. And... Um, uh, yeah, one more last look. Um, you see, leave no trace. There was no trace of me. You wouldn't know I've been here. Um, uh, in actual fact, I picked up a little bit of litter, so it's probably a little bit more tidier than it was when I I got there. <laughs> anyway, zero pence. Thanks for listening and watching. See you later.